Yep. I remember. We've got some information. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? Yeah, kinda. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. It's kind of taken care of. Uh, investigated that distress signal. What's that? Speak up now. Should you buy her an ear trumpet? About those secrets you asked me to look for. What'd you turn up? I found a toothpaste formula, but then I <laughs> unfound it. Let's see. I found schematics of a prototype weapon from Force and I'm selling. You buying? Peaches and cream. If that isn't the most handsome bit of lethal engineering I've seen all week. That'll go for a tidy sum of bits. You got in trouble for stealing in Red Dead 2? Well, that's quite a good thing. But were you seen or was it like um, it was completely unseen and then you magically got caught for it later? You were searching a sheriff's officer and he got mad. Oh, I wonder why. <laughs> He sat there in his uh, his leather chaps with the buttocks cut out and you've, you know, just inserted your hand where it shouldn't be, looking for where he keeps his wallet, obviously. And uh, I wonder why he got mad. I don't know. Um, I acquired some research on Raptid on Musk, but I found another buyer. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. Yes. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a patch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. Like up. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. Surely the information's worth it to you, though. His back was facing you. You were searching for a stupid card. You got the whole town to look for. <laughs> yes, it's obviously it's obviously in the uh, undergarments of. Um, some male dude in that town. So carry on that search. And I found the toothpaste formula. Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for and you. And they gave it away. So that excursion sent you on was a no cakewalk. How, how far am I off on that? Too far. By God, I'd need a high persuasion skill for that by this point of the game. I think that's it. Are you positive? Honest to goodness. I'm certain there's nothing left. Can't say I wasn't hoping for more, but I suppose it can't be helped. Hmm. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. I guess I could have done better than that. Let's see what she's got to trade. I should have loads of cash. I found a handsome ceramic mandapillar at a salvage auction last week. Interesting. Uh, salvager's helper. Does that fire like six rounds at once or something? It actually looks quite nice. Right, but we're going to sell. Um, I've got a couple of weapons here. I'm going to I'm going to sell that. Oh, mind you, forty three plasma damage. It looks like it could be really good. That one. We'll get rid of the silencer. And we'll sell that thing. I don't think it does as much. Mind you, that's the damage I would do with it. We should probably give that to one of the other companions, I think. And I've got nothing like that. I could sell all my consumables off, which I'm not using anyway. Just cash those in. Where's my cash level, by the way? Oh, I've got 32 grand. Oh, we're, we're doing quite well then. Uh, sell gen. No, 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 not that stuff. Just sell the junk. Cool. Okay, we're going to have to buy this, this pass, I think. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. Care to listen with me? Go visit that locker room after the customs booth really quick. Okay, cheers. I'll do it on the way back. Um, 10,000 bits. I need the Stella Bay pass. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a dear. You'll love her. I do. Was there anything else? Have a quest. Um, yes, thanks for your time and leave. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Hey, boss. If you need a tour guide, I've seen all 12 episodes of Terror on Monarch. Kind of an expert. Good. I'll take you, you to Monarch. To set foot on a whole other planet. I know Monarch's in So, we've got the passage to anywhere. Um, we've also got 
not that one. We need to go to the we need to go to the pub here as well. The empty man, which isn't that salvager in the sky. That's the one. Boom, it shouldn't be far. Here. She's got a quest for us. I do like these towns and stuff. I like running around them. The game just it just it's just good. It's just it's well spaced out. Not too far, not too close. Uh, there's lots of stuff to look around. It feels like um, a living, breathing sort of town to some extent. I, I just like it. I think I think they've done well with this. Make this conversation worth my time, Captain. Um, I can go to uh, Stella Bay now. Is that jobs to look for grabs? Sure is. Welcome aboard, Contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Okay. Uh, what kind of salvage are we looking for? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. And that does what? When you get to the locker room, climb the boxes on top of the lockers and crawl through the hole. Kill the outlaws, loot the place, take the science weapon stashed in there. Oh, okay. I did crawl through some pipes and stuff when I first came here. Because um, I looted the entire security section <laughs> of this place. Which was quite nice. But, um... Cheers. I'll try and remember. So I'm going after Alta Vita gas. What exactly is that? It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you okay. get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vita gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. I'm sorry I asked. I'll take the job. Now get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? I'll kill everyone I see there. What am I looking for exactly? Don't go looking for anything except salvage. Just watch out. You'll do fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. Hmm. And then she follows up with, they mostly come out at night. Mostly. And that's when we get worried. I hope so. I'm just looking at the mismatch in their armor. <laughs> okay, let me get out of here. Was this the way out? So we need to find the lost hope, which we can do quite easily by sticking that quest on. I want to do this and then do this, sorry. And then we go and check out that locker room. So, how's this work? Do we get a table, stand in a corner? We, um... Let's just stand here and talk. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Then we get the expensive stuff. You're new to the whole loosening up thing. How about wine? If you really want to get drunk, whiskey is efficient. Are you sure you want to do this? You seem nervous. Uh, I'm going to be nice because I quite like her. Oh, no, that's just... That's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know. I've just been lying awake thinking about what June Lay said and... Feeling my heart shake. Oh. She's in love. Um <laughs> I'm tempted to go whiskey and get her absolutely wrecked. You're not much of a drinker. Better start slow with a beer. Oh. Beer. I guess. Yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Beer, huh? Good choice, if you want to get unsober in a hurry. Ah, this tastes <laughs> like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Some people. Oh, Captain. 
I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Um, whining. It sounds like, generally or specifically. Specifically, definitely, definitely specifically. Oh, oh, why did I drink that? <laughs> I've had many beers I mean, just like that. With June Lay. I don't know what to do about us. You've got to tell her how you feel. Um, start by telling me why a message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. What did she actually write in the message? You haven't said. It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? No, I, I suspect she feels more like uh, she became she came in between this lady and her dad, and she feels guilty for ruining her dad's relationship. That's what I suspect. But let's go with perception. I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Whiskey. Um, let's get you some water. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. You'll feel a lot oh, better really, with water. Right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. I'm glad you agree. Shush you. <laughs> oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. Uh, what about me? What about what? Come on. Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? Oh, that's even worse. What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? You want me to go and shoot her and, like, solve the issue? Should we shoot her, chat? Maybe that would sort it all out. She reminds you of the engineer from Firefly and so many... Yeah, Zimmerframe, exactly, that's what I've been saying in the, in the 12 hours I've been playing this game. Uh, she was called Kaylee, right, wasn't she? I think it was Kaylee. And she's been inspired by the engineer. Uh, except, except, except that engineer uh, was a lot more confident about her feelings for people and her sexuality, as I remember, to my shock. But, um, yeah, no, she, she's cool. And... <laughs> Screwed if I know, I'm just here for the booze. Uh, there's an easy way to get answers to all these questions. We're just going to talk to the to June Lee. Oh, There's nothing easy about, about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not. Let me shoot her then. <laughs> um, are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Of course. Wouldn't you be? Um, no, I am who I am. If people don't like that, they're not for me. I mean, like, yes, but... You've got to accept that if people don't like you for who you are, then they're not the right person for you. Friendship or more or whatever. Hmm. I envy your boldness of spirit, Captain. I can only hope a little bit of it rubs off on me. <laughs> Which little bit? <laughs> but, gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. It's not that little. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. What, like, um... Feeding you whiskey? We all do. Well, I suppose so, but... I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person. Worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. Listen, listen. 
get this sorted out now because we're not dragging your ass back to this station after every little trip out to space so you can see your girlfriend and, and, and question yourself like this. We need this sorted out now. You either go and get it on with her or we kill her, which is it to be. And why isn't that an option in chat? So, are you going to ask her out? Oh, gosh. I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Yes. Inspiration. Don't ask for my opinion. Believe in yourself. <laughs> what does the booze tell you? Um, believe in yourself. Okay. I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Wouldn't it be better to ask Thanks her out here and now? And giving me counsel. While she's, like, and, next well, door? For being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. You mean like in on, serenity, maybe? <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that, that in. Uh, God knows she had a thing for the doctor and couldn't get together with him until the film. Yeah, but didn't, didn't the engineer in Firefly also just go off and have sex with some random person on one of the planets they landed on? Just because she enjoyed doing that sort of thing. I think that was only one, one episode, but... Uh, yeah, she, she hadn't come across like that type of character before, and that, that sort of shocked me. She was much more like this type of character. Shy and quiet and unsure of herself. Steal a, that poster? I'll be seen if I steal that poster. I mean, there's people stood just there. I'll never get away with that. I've got away with some outrageous things, but I'll not get away nicking that. Unless I can, like, steal it and then talk my way out of it. Quick save. Let's see what happens. This is on Pan's advice. Oh. Right. Hey, hey. Yep. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> I didn't think I'd get away with that. Um, I can lie. Nothing at all. Lie. Nothing at all. Oh, my <laughs> I can't believe it was that easy. What poster? Oh, that knackered my reputation. Well, I knew there was no way I was going to get away with that, but... Well, we've done it now. It's done. It's staying. That's how it works. Oh, I, I want to put some points into... Um... Oh, hi, Rattlehead. How are you? Uh... Gonna try this in the Walmart? Yeah, let me know how it goes. I'm gonna put some points into that um, inspiration and uh, leadership skills, I think. Uh, if I'm gonna do more quests for my party members, I think that'll be handy. And it's just generally good all around anyway. So, journal. Um, have Pavati meet with... Okay, so I do need to take her. No, hang on. I need to take her back to the ship. So, she wants to talk to me back on the ship. Okay, the empty man, that's elsewhere. The space crime continuum. Lily hasn't heard from her agent in Stella Bay recently. That one is uh, Scylla and the passage to anywhere. I should probably do that. Inform Dr. Wells we have a nav key. Right, so locker room on the way out, you say. Lovange, have you seen in some of the wrecked ships there are some machinery or heater with firefly printed on them? I haven't seen that. I'll have to keep my eye out for that. Um, I don't know which way I'm going. My internal sat-nav isn't quite attuned to this uh, station yet. So, there was a, a locker room, you say. Wasn't through there, was it? Or was it on this side? Past the customs place into a locker room. Oh, hang on. Not in there then. No. There's this. 
Oh, I'll take this stuff. Oh my god. Come on. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Nothing at all. I don't want any trouble out of you. <laughs> I'm setting everyone. I didn't think he could see me. This locker room? We can climb through some sections. This doesn't look like somewhere you can climb up through. Oh. Is that... Can I jump up there? I don't think I can get up that way. Might be able to... Hmm. That's bad. It wasn't through the security room you were talking about, was it? There was somewhere I went where I was able to access other places. Keep your sights out, friend. Oh, well, that wasn't... Where's this go? What am I doing up here? I just I just saw the ladder and just thought, hang on, this has gotta lead somewhere. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Those boxes after you enter the locker room to your right? I'll take a look when I get back down. To Adrenos. Why is that looking like I can jump? I just like the way that looks like it. It looks like it's set for me to jump somewhere. Perhaps to this. Oh, the hell? Hang on, I'm going to quick save here. Oh, God. I thought I'd missed the jump up then. A skeleton. Okay. Ordnance control armor. Not bad. A load of mods. Oh, that was an interesting little find. Nothing else to do, so... Whoosh. I'll come down this quick way. Right, so we go through customs and uh, to my left. So there's that one. Not the security room though. You mean this one through here? Oh, hang on. Can't jump up there. No, I can't. Put that away. Why does this look jumpable? Can't see anything to achieve by doing this. Enter the locker room, look immediately to your left and climb the boxes. Oh, there is a way up there. I was looking at this before, actually, about five minutes ago. Did I just... No, it's okay. I thought I maybe picked something up by accident and upset everyone. Who have we got in here, then? Oh, it's not a person. Who's that? Workbench discovered. Cheers, Pam. Well. This is my plasma carbine. Let's see what this does. Boom! Hang on, where's his... Nice. <laughs> those things are so easy to kill. Are those their weak, weak spots on the uh, legs there? Okay, so my plasma carbine. Uh, two minds about that. Let's take a proper look around here. More sneaking around. What have we got? A lot of stuff. That needs opening. Workbench. Oh, where did I get a hanger key from?
prismatic hammer. Hammersmith. Science weapon. Hammersmith was working on a hammer weapon, the pulse hammer, when its rival company, Aramid Ballistics, stole the plans, rushed its development and beat them to market. All the while ridiculing Hammersmith with a marketing campaign about having no hammers in their weapon line. Hammersmith executives demanded the ultimate hammer to be produced, but this prototype was so expensive that it never entered production. Two-handed melee. It's not like... Uh, doesn't look amazing. Science weapons. Science weapons are unique weapons that have strange and powerful effects. Science weapon damage and strength of their effects both increase as your science... Oh, okay, that's why it doesn't look so clever. Jock engineers ensure our bottom line and fire rates are sky high. Gosh, Search Hawthorne's terminal for clues. Okay. Uh, logs. Discovery. Rummaging through the uh, back bays, I discovered a very old Hammersmith crate that seemed to have been sealed for a very long time. A bit of elbow grease and a determination pried it open, but I couldn't make heads or tails of the discovery. A prototype hammer. I didn't know Hammersmith actually made hammers, but I brought it to my lab for a closer look. How strangely it glows. The trail of its wake lingers even when my eyes are closed. I spent more time on the hammer. Its internal workings are state-of-the-art. Thermal, electrical, and chemical systems all working in harmony. How is this even possible? The weapon is a breakthrough in circuitry and engineering, and many of its systems appear rigged against tampering. There's a curious energy signature swirling about the weapon, though I've yet to identify the source. The air tastes of copper, and I've lost several teeth. Troubles. I've had the most sublime prismatic dream since I invited the hammer into my bedchamber. What? Never mind that for now. Good news first. The energy signature matches Blondiot's elusive N-rays, raising the hammer's elemental properties to four, shock, plasma, corrosion, and radiation. Now for the bad. In my attempts to neuter the self-destruct functionality, I inadvertently caused a small fire. The hammer's manual controls may never function again. Swinging it seems to be the only way of cycling through its elemental modes. I must take greater care with future experiments. Annihilation. I've taken the liberty of locking myself in the workshop. My tinkerings are all for naught. This is no prototype. I am simply too flawed to recognize its perfections. The hammer is a lesson, a symbol. It whispers to me that disorder rules all things, but with a little ambition we can harness that power. Only by inflicting chaos upon others can we transmute disorder into harmony. And that is a lesson Halcyon is not ready to hear. Huh. Interesting stuff. Hmm. Where do we get out of this place? Quick way down? Oh, there's some stuff to steal. My companions can use it. The hammer is radioactive. It doesn't affect you in any way. Sounds like it might be fun to play with, that one. I think we're done on this station for now. Quick way out, maybe? That's Oh, there we go. And we're just at the back of there. How convenient. Okay, let's get back on the ship. What time is it? Time I was quitting, actually. Have either of the assault cruisers ever put in? Okay. Am I taking the long way around? We're going to save the game right there because when we get back on the ship, there's going to be some more dialogue with uh, Pavati about her love interest. I'm going to save that for the next stream. It's going to kick that one off. And then we're going to go exploring. And we might have to have a play around with this hammer. Which looks pretty nice. I don't think it's a weapon for me. But we'll find someone who can make use out of it. It'll be quite good fun. Yeah, anyway, folks. Thanks for joining us again today. I've really enjoyed playing The Outer Worlds. Welcome to the new followers. And a big shout out to the Tech Geek as well for all the support, bits and gift subscriptions and anything. It's... Uh, it really is fantastic. And to everyone else who's uh, who supported me over the years as well in this. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the game and the stream. And I'll see you again on Wednesday. I think I'm streaming. Yeah, Wednesday afternoon, I'm definitely streaming. And uh, I might have time for something tomorrow. But um, don't hold me to that. But uh, do look out for me going live. All right, folks. And with that, I'll say good night. Catch you next time.